to do is just close that and show you what it looks like more or less. And when you click on it, it comes up with that screen. And click on it again, and it comes up with this little screen. And now you can click search to find which records exist already. Uh, or you can click add. Um, and now what you've got to do if you want to add a, a patient to this, uh, let's put in, say for example, his medical care number, 3456. We can just put in his name, William Smith. Uh, his ID card, let's call it 4567. And his phone number, 6789, 6789, and add. And you'll see he's now been added to the database. So to actually access the records of that particular patient, just double click on his name. And you'll see that it comes up with this screen here. And um, so the first thing you want to do is actually go and select the actual camera. Uh, so you, if you click on image source here, you'll see it'll come up with a little menu of all the different kinds of imaging devices you've got on your computer. Now this one here is the USB 2800 video, which is the wired camera. And this one here is the wireless camera. I've got a couple of others as well. I'm just going to choose the wired camera for now. Click select and then click the capture button. And it brings up this interface here, which is the one that gives you the live view of whatever it is that you're looking for. Now you can also change the output size here. And what's also important is that you can change the settings. So sometimes there's a bit too much glare. So what you do is you bring up uh, you bring up this box by clicking settings. And actually I'm going to try and run the two of them together so you can see the effect of it. So you can drop brightness down a bit. Uh, so every computer is different, so you need to do color calibration for your particular computer. You can increase, increase saturation. Uh, I'm just going to go to default again. So remember to go and set your color settings and calibration settings by just clicking on the setting button. Now to actually capture an image, you can either use the actual snapshot button on the camera itself, that's the front button. So if you just click on it, uh, it will instantly capture the image. Some dentists prefer that the assistants click on this capture button here uh, to prevent camera shake. And so just click on that. And that instantly captures the image. So you'll see you've got the images captured there now. Now uh, there's many things you can do. Like if you click on the select, it means we can select images. So we can select both. And we can click image compare. And you'll see that brings up a little image comparison interface where you can compare images over time, etc. Um, it's going to cancel that. You can also delete images, of course, just by clicking delete. You can save images. So if you click save, it asks you where you want to save it to. And you can save it as a JPEG image file to any spot on your computer. Um, you can OK, we've done the compare. You can print images. So if you click print, it brings up a little print driver for you. Um, and if you click exit, it brings you back to the database interface. So you can actually go to any particular patient that you want. Click on it. Uh, those are just little images done with a skin cancer camera. Uh, I'm just going to go exit. And let's go to William Smith that we did earlier. And you'll see his images. So this is a very convenient little database package.